Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your Divi navigation start from the bottom and then stay fixed at the top while scrolling. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how I managed to create this. In order for us to achieve this design, we're going to need a few things in place. First off, we're going to use some CSS code and then we're also going to use some JavaScript code. So let's go in and let's add our CSS and JavaScript code. So first off, what you want to do is once you're logged in, come over here to Divi and then go to Theme Customizer. So under Theme Customizer, you need to scroll all the way down until you get to Additional CSS. And this is where we're going to add our CSS code. So I've gone ahead and added my CSS code and it's right here on the bottom. And also, if you do like to follow along step by step with this tutorial, you can find the CSS code and also uh, the JavaScript code that we use throughout this tutorial on the post, which I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so once you've added it here, that's good. Now, there's one thing I need to mention. If you add your code in the uh, theme customizer here, this effect will be applied site-wide. But if you want to apply this effect onto a single page, then you can actually add this CSS code to a single page. And let me show you how to do that and where to add the code. So I'm just going to save this for now. And then I'm going to get out of this and let's choose a page. So I'm going to come over here to pages. I'm going to click on all pages and I'm just going to go with the about page. So I'm going to click on view right so this is the page where we need to add uh, our um, code to i'm going to come here to enable visual builder and then all the way down here if we enable our uh, expand settings and click on the settings icon here this allows us to add our code onto our advanced tab where we uh, on this option here called custom css so this is where you would add this so this will this effect will only apply on this page because this CSS code is for this particular page. But the other option, obviously, is if you want to apply this effect site-wide. And also, if you want to add the JavaScript code, you can add it right here on this page. But what you'll need to do is to add a new um, module. So the module that you need to add would be this module here, which is the code module. So I'm just going to scroll down here and this is the code module. So this is where you would add your JavaScript code. But in this example, I'm going to add the JavaScript code in, in our theme options. So I'm going to come over here to dashboard. So I'm going to come over here to DV, click on theme options. So to add our JavaScript code, you need to make sure that you're in the integration tab. So I'm going to click on that and then our code needs to be in the head section. Okay, so I'm just going to stretch this down so we can see more of this code. I'm going to scroll all the way down. Now I've gone ahead as well and added all my JavaScript code in here. So everything is all ready. Now let's go to the final stage where we need to add our header. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, exit out of this. So I'm going to come over here back to my dashboard. Click on all pages. So the page that we're going to add this effect on is on the about page. So I'm just going to click on edit. And then I'm going to go into my visual builder. So what we need to do here is to add a brand new section. So we can see here that we have our header in place. But once we add all our code, this is going to go. So we're going to add a brand new section. So I'm just going to come over here, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then click this plus button here to add my new section. Now, the section needs to be full width. So I'm just going to select full width. And we need a full width header. So I'm just going to select on that. And then next, you need to come over here into design and make sure that your layout is set to full width screen. Right, so I'm going to come over here, activate that and click on save changes. Okay, so that's all we need to do here. So next, what we need to do is just to save the page and then let's preview our changes. So I'm just going to hit my um, shortcut, which is command S. Or control S if you're on a PC. So now that my page is saved, I'm just going to exit my visual builder and then we're going to test the page. So we can see right off the bat, our header is right here at the bottom. And then when I start scrolling, it's scrolling with the page and then it's going to stay there right at the top as I scroll through the page. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.